Okay, here we have a 2004 Beetle. I'm gonna do a timing belt and water pump. This is not gonna be a 100% how-to, being as this is my first one that I've done, going to do. So all I've done so far is taken off the little hub cap, the timing cover, upper timing cover, that has these two clips here. Just unclip them, pull that out, and I have drained the coolant already. And I took off this splash shield. So, these lug nuts are super, super tight. Got a bad uh, control arm bushing there. You can see that. Oh my gosh! Ah. Woo! Boy! Damn, something's tight. Ah. the drive belt serpentine belt tensioner you just need a 17 millimeter wrench you can see right there I have a drill bit sticking through the hole in below where you put this 17 millimeter wrench on there and I'm just gonna pull this back and then there's another hole right there in the tensioner so you just pull that back and push that drill bit there and that will hold your tension back. Push through there, pull it back with 17 millimeter, and push that through there. Now your serpentine belt is loose, and you can pull it off. Okay. Now we got our drive belt off, serpentine belt off. Um, we're gonna take off the tensioner. And I believe it's just these three 13 millimeters here. go through this little bracket, the hose, the coolant hose. Okay. Just put your bolts back in there. Keep track of everything. Okay, on your bottom pulley, there is a mark, a little notch, and then on your lower cover, there's a little notch. I marked them both in orange. So get them lined up. I know it's off just a shade there. And then we'll let the car down and make sure the cam is lined up with the mark on top. Okay. So here is top dead center arrow mark right there and my mark on the cam is straight down so I'm 180 out so I have to turn the crankshaft over one time to get that to line up okay so I'm 180 out so I need to turn my crankshaft one full rotation which will turn the cams or the cam a half a rotation. Whoa. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, I've got my two marks lined up there. And now my cam should be lined up also. Okay, now you can see there's the mark. Ah, a little much on there. Now you can see. that the cam mark is lined up also. So now I will take my crank pulley off that lower timing shield and I'll take my mount, my motor mount out, put my floor jack under the engine to get it hanging up and then we'll change the belt out and the water pump. Okay, now we're gonna take off our crank pulley, which is four um, H6 bolts. And I'm just gonna take a paint marker and mark in one of these holes that way. Got the orientation night going back on. I'm going to take out my 510 millimeters for my lower timing belt cover. to take out my lower bolt here for the bracket that goes to the engine mount to the engine and then back up in here there's one more I'm gonna take it out and then I'll lower the car down and put a jack under the engine and take down your splash shield on the bottom That one will not come all the way out. So when you put your mount back up in there, make sure you have that one started first. Mid length. Okay, now we'll take out our top bolt for our bracket. And now I'm going to loosen my tensioner bolt 13 millimeter. Thirteen millimeter nut. Maneuver your mount bracket down so you can get your tensioner off. Okay. So I got the tensioner off. Now we will take our water pump off. Here is the timing belt kit. have a new tensioner in there, a belt, and the water pump. And it looks like three ten millimeters on the water pump itself. Three tens out. Okay, I had to 
pry on the water pump a little bit. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Look at that. The whole gear is gone. Uh-oh. That's in the engine. Floating around in the engine. I don't know if you can make heads or tails out of this mirror here, but that water pump, the internal fins in there are just melted in there, laying in a big glob. It'd be a miracle if this thing, the head gasket's not blowed on this thing. See that big blob of plastic there? Completely melted down. There's one piece out of there of the water pump in. It's melted down in a big blob. There's another. Looks like I should have taken off this metal bracket or uh, shield like so take that off before you pull your water pump out. So take this off before you take your water pump out. This little ear goes over the water pump. All right, so now I'm just gonna clean that out in there good, clean that ring out, put some uh, dielectric grease or something over my O-ring, put my water pump back in. Get a piece of Scotch-Brite or emery cloth or something and clean out around where your water pump O-ring goes in. Okay, I'm just putting a little dielectric grease around this water pump seal. So it goes in good and don't get caught and tear. Until it pops in there and get your three ten millimeter bolts back in there. Now take your ratchet and go over them, snug them up a little bit. All data says 15 newton meters for the water pump. If anybody wants to know that. And then it says 25 newton meters for the tensioner. Okay, the water pump is in. Okay, luckily I found a tool here that fits in there to tighten the tensioner. All right, and so the timing mark, you just tighten it till it goes to that, lines up with that. And all that it says, turn it back and forth five times from stop to stop 
I don't know what that's all about, but first I need to clean off all this coolant. To get some brake clean, clean all that off. Okay, I'm putting some blue thread locker on my nut for my tensioner. And there's a spot or the head that this piece goes into. What's up, Gary? Now to get our timing belt on that. Okay, I got my timing belt on. Got my line lined up up top here. My lines are lined up. My yellow lines that I lined up are there. I will have to put on the shield and the damper and make sure that uh, that the that line lines up with that line. But it should, since my yellow lines lined up that I put on there. Now, if you're looking for an exact how-to of how to do this. Um, this is my first one, so I watched the video. I'm not gonna, you know, I ain't ashamed of it. Um, and his channel was Copenhagen Blue. So if you're looking for an exact or another video to reference, um, Copenhagen Blue has one. So now I'm just gonna get it all put back together, fire this thing up. So now I'm gonna get my mount bracket bolted to the engine and my mount put in so I can raise the car up and do the rest of the work. Okay, I've got my motor mount in. Now I can let the engine down and put it up in the air. Double check my timing marks and stuff when I put my dampener back on or crankshaft pulley. Okay, I got my lower crankshaft pulley dampener on and my lower shields there, timing covers. So I'm gonna check, make sure my line is lined up there. Okay, now I'm gonna put my serpentine belt tensioner back on. Okay, so I'm gonna tighten my bolts to my tensioner, put my serpentine belt on, and we do that with the 17 millimeter wrench, pull that back and pull out the drill bit I put in there. I'm gonna tighten up my, or put the bolts back in my coolant reservoir, the one 13 millimeter bolt that I took out from that bracket. My upper timing cover fuel line and then fill it up with coolant and fire it up. Okay, I've got my serpentine belt setting on there. Now I just take my 17 millimeter wrench, put on this nub right here on the tensioner, pull it back, pull out my drill bit, and let it go. Serpentine belt is installed. I'm gonna start it up. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> well, it, it ran like crap before, you know, it's like there's something else going on. You know? This is mainly the big cool piece, so we can go farther into the same all wrong. Yeah. All right, well, it's idling good, so I'm going to get it filled up with coolant, and then I have to finish diagnosing anything else wrong with the vehicle, because we had to do this for the water pump, so. All right, well, thanks for watching. I hope you all have a great day.